When it came to insects, Wallace was the supreme authority. When Darwin confidently predicted the existence of a moth that nobody had ever seen before, it was Wallace who helped him work on his theory. There are many strange objects locked away in the museum stores. But this is one of the strangest. It's known as Darwin's Sphinx Moth from Madagascar. Darwin didn't know anything about the moth to start with. He was working on pollination in orchids. And he was sent some orchid flowers. And among these was this Madagascan star orchid. The orchid had an extraordinarily long tube. Darwin deduced that the only creature in Madagascar that could pollinate this flower was a type of hawk moth. One with a tongue long enough to reach 30 centimeters down to the nectar. He knew of no example of a moth that had a long enough tongue to pollinate this. But he made a prediction that such a moth would one day be found. Darwin's prediction in 1862 was based on the idea that the orchid and the moth must have evolved together, and neither could exist without the other. It was only a matter of time before this hypothetical moth would be found. Darwin's cause was taken up by Alfred Russell Wallace. It was so clear to him that it must exist that he said it was an absolute certainty that if people went to Madagascar, sooner or later they were bound to find this moth. Wallace published a picture of what he thought the moth looked like, a sort of wanted poster for the mystery pollinator. Darwin's moth was eventually found, but not until 1903, 20 years after Darwin's death. The prediction that he made all those years ago has proven eventually to be entirely, completely correct. Thanks to Darwin, the moth was officially named the predicted one.